Hey, Renee here from Wolf Relic for Food. This week I thought that I would invite you into a process that I do pretty much every day, which is improvise a recipe from whatever I've got in my pantry and in my fridge. So today I specifically happen to have a bunch of split green peas in my pantry, which I feel like is like possibly the least sexy lentil. And I wanna see if I can like bring a little bit of sensuality to it, you know, like, can I make green split peas sexy? Let's see. Um, so let's jump over to a bunch of shots of my stuff that I happen to have and let's figure out what we're gonna make with this core ingredient, green split peas. So let's have a look at my impeccably organized pantry full of all of the non-essentials. Split green peas, olive oil, balsamic vinegar, I'm not sure if I'll use that. And I look around the fridge. Really not a whole lot in here, so just gotta work with what I got. Cauliflower, lemon, avocado. And of course, go through all the spices. So, what I've come up with here after foraging through my pantry and my fridge is that I'm gonna do a split pea soup. Okay, I know it's hard to do anything with split peas besides soup because they just turn into mush. Um, but it's gonna be like bright and spicy and it's gonna have some kick to it and it's just gonna feel a lot more alive than most of the split green pea soups that I've seen on the internet and also throughout my life. Um, so we're gonna use cauliflower and some sweet potatoes and just like half of a raw sweet potato I had hanging around. Um, onion and garlic and we'll put some lemon in there. We'll top it with this avocado. It's just half an avocado I had laying around. And we're gonna add sundered tomatoes to it as well. Just to give it a little bit of that extra like umami kick situation. We're gonna cook it in vegetable broth, which I have somewhere around here. And some cashew butter is gonna give it a little bit of creaminess. Sounds weird, is not, is awesome, trust. Uh, and we're gonna cook it all up in some olive oil and I've got all these spices here. We're gonna use ginger, a um, little bit of cinnamon, actually is really amazing and savory stuff. Uh, smoked paprika, cayenne, it just really brings this brightness to it. And then some cumin. And I may or may not use this hot smoky chili pepper. I remember it being really, really spicy. So I like spicy, but I don't know if I wanna go there with it. So we'll see how we, how it goes, how it flows. So let's get to it, let's start chopping some stuff up and get those green lentils on the boil because they take 30 to 45 minutes. So we gotta get that going. Chopping up the onion and then giving that garlic a mince. Add some olive oil to my pot and then I'm gonna add the onion in. It's nice and hot as you can see. Give it a stir and I just want it to brown a bit and then I add my garlic. Chopping up my cauliflower, I'm just gonna use half of it here and give it a rough chop. And then I'll add my split green peas to the pot. Vegetable broth, I end up using about mm, three, four cups of this and then the rest I top off with water. So it's about eight cups total. And then a rough chop on some sweet potato. Stir that in. So now that I've put everything in the pot except for the cauliflower, I am choosing to, instead of just throwing the cauliflower into the soup and then it cooks into the soup and it's like, oh yeah, another vegetable, I'm gonna cook it a little bit differently. I'm gonna cook the cauliflower on the side with slightly different spices just to give it a little bit more of thump and thump. Um, so we can maybe get some crispy blackened bits on the cauliflower and we can just kind of put that on top of the soup at the end and I think that'll be a little bit more rich and interesting. So I'm definitely gonna be using some lemon and a lot of pepper on the cauliflower, just like super simple, cook it in olive oil until it's nice and soft and got those crisp edges. Get my pan out for the cauliflower and adding olive oil so the pan gets nice and hot and then I've gotta add my spices to the soup. So ginger, smoked paprika, cinnamon, and cumin ground up and some white pepper I ground. Salt, of course. Stir it on up and let that go and do its thing. Put the top on. And then cauliflower into the pan. Give it a little shake up. And I gotta add some white wine. So just a little bit of that. And Logan got back from the grocery. So a little break too. Put stuff away. Lots of sweet potatoes. 
Check it on the cauliflower. It's starting to look good. Just giving it a stir, getting a little bit of brown. And then I'm gonna add a bunch of lemon juice to it. So just half a lemon, some nutritional yeast, garlic pepper, cayenne, and another good stir. Tabasco. It's starting to look good. And sundar tomatoes going into this soup. Remember I talked about that cashew butter? This is that moment of truth going in. And then I add a whole lemon, so juice of an entire lemon going into the pot. It's gonna make it really nice and tangy. Glass of wine, of course. And then just testing it out, seeing where we're at. It seems to be doing good. So this is about 30, 45 minutes in and it's all looking pretty much done. So I'm serving it up, nice and steamy. Just taking a ladle, pouring it in. You can see those split green peas have maintained most of their shape, which is exactly what we want. Added some crunchy tortilla chips on top and then just topping it with the crispy cauliflower. Add some parsley and I'm pretty sure this is a home run. And that is it, we are done with that process of this improvised recipe. Split pea soup with lots of spices. There's ginger, there's smoked paprika, there's garlic and onion, and I'm gonna put some sweet potato in there, cook some cauliflower on the side, and it just, this is just a bowl of goodness right here. I put some parsley on top and add an avocado and a little bit of extra cayenne. So let's give it a taste and see if it's any good. Still hot. Hmm. See, this is so good and so rich and full of savory flavor. The sundry tomato really gives it that extra edge. And I add some nutritional yeast to the cauliflower as well. So that's also quite savory. And I'm realizing I'm like totally biased against split green peas. And I'm wondering if you are too, because the texture of these turned out to be just like really meaty. They're like a much more rich lentil than many of the other lentils. And I think the reason that you see like split pea soup with just like a bowl of mush is just people are overcooking split peas, the green split peas specifically. So you just have to make sure that you don't overcook them and then you get a nice full texture of the lentil um, and they just, you can throw them into pretty much any vegetable soup and they'd be great. So I'm loving this flavor combo. There's lots of lemon on the cauliflower. Um, I added some tortilla chips on the top for some extra crunch and extra salt. So I just like love salty stuff. Um, and this is just fantastic. I'm gonna take another bite. Mm. So good. So if you liked this video, give this channel a subscribe. I'd love to see you in the comments section, leaving your notes and thoughts. I'll leave the recipe linked down in the description. That'll just link out to my blog and there'll be just like a really simple version of the recipe on my blog. And I hope that you stick around in this kind of community and I will see you all next time. Bye. You have a message to say to all the green pea haters out there, Logan. <laughs> all those green pea haters that Renee referenced in the video. You ever think that you're just overcooking those beans? Making beans? them into mush? Making them into mush? You ever think of that, geniuses? Yeah, back off. Yeah, back off. Come back at me. Off. Come at me with your split green pea hatred and overcooking and bushing. I'm looking at Logan's eyes and I'm looking at